In this lesson, we are going to talk about a single record and a list records navigation. Let's go to the leads as an example. And you will see that you have on the left side, you will have a filter. The filter allows me to filter the entire leads database. Think about the module as a database of lots and lots of records. In my case, I will have, let's go to all of them. In my case, I will have 24 records in my database. And let's assume that I only want to see people that their phone number starts with 647. And those will be from Toronto. Then I can use the left side filtration so I can see only the ones that I want to see. And let's see how it goes. So I will go here to the search and the search will show me the search of the option, not the search of the number. So most people will search for 647 and they will see nothing and they will get confused. But what you need to search here will be the phone. And then when you go to the phone, you can say starts with 647. And when you apply, you will see only the records related to your search. Okay. So this is how the filtration works. If you want, you can also save the filter because sometimes you will use the filter again and again. So I will click here on save filter and I will write leads from Toronto. And then it will be here. So if I go out of the leads and then I go back to it, I just clear the filter. You can see that I have here the filter leads from Toronto and there is a number beside it. It will be two. And that will say that only two records answering this filtration. Okay, this is very useful. You will have here in the system defined filters, you will have different filters that are system based. Those will be records that you worked on, record actions, if it was modified, not modified, lots of stuff. Most people will not work and touch all those. Usually people will work on anything that is basically what uh, the people can do. You will have the system defined filters. Those will be different filters that allows you to take action based on what the system is doing. Let's assume that I like to see all the people that will have, all the leads that will have today or in the past, some kind of uh, activity. Or let's say that on the website activity, you will have the sales IQ related activities, people that visit us, the referrals and so on. And you will have here different fields that you can work with. Most people will work on the filter by fields and those will be the different fields. And that's what I just did right now with the 647. So if you don't want to get confused, you probably want to concentrate on filter by fields. And later on, when you are a pro, then go up and use the other ones. Okay, so let's do that. Filter by fields, it's a yes. Do that. Next we have on the top left, we will have this filter. If you click on it, this filter will show. If you click on it again, the filter will be gone. So if you go to a page and you don't see the filters, relax. It's all good. Just click here on the filters and it will show again. Beside it, you will have the views. Right now I can see all the leads. So the views and the filters are almost the same. It's just the filters will have more features and more options. The views are a little bit dumbed down version of the filters. If I want, for example, to see all the leads that are Gmail based, I can click on the views. I can go to the new custom view and I will give it a name, Gmail leads. From the criteria, 
I will need to se select the email and I will write ends with gmail.com. Below that, I will need to select the different fields that I like to include in this view. So let's say first name, last name, email, I will just drag and drop here. The company name, maybe I don't need that. And let's say also the city. Then I will be able to select who can see the specific view. If it's only me, if I will give the ability to everyone to see it, or selected users from my organization. In my case, I will give it to everyone and I will also lock the view so only I will be able to make changes and not other users. So other users can only see it, but they can't make changes to this view. And when I click on save, you can see that now I'm on the Gmail leads and I can see all the leads that end up with gmail.com. If I want to go back to all my leads, I can click here and I can go to all leads. And then I can see everything. On the right side, you will have different options to view this list. The list will stay the same, but the way that you view those records will be a bit different. For example, let's say that you want to see a Kanban view. A Kanban view will be in this fashion where you can move leads from one place to another. Sometimes there will be restrictions. In my case, I have a blueprint, so it's not allowing me to move the records. But if you don't have a blueprint, you can do it. Okay, so that will be more like a Kanban view. You can see it also as a custom list view. Okay, which is a bit different. You can also customize in the canvas view. You can change the icon to be a picture. You can have your different fields if you want. It's very, very, very nice. Okay, if I click here on the pencil, I will go to the editor, which I can change the way that I see it. So I can have, for example, let's say the city will be here. Maybe I want to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe I want here also the currency. And when I'm happy with it, I will click on save. And now when I'm going back to it, let's refresh. Okay, now I see the new view. And you can customize this view as you want. And you have the tile view which looks something like that. It's more for uh, products. And let's go back. And you will have also the table view, if you want, which is another way. And you can create a new one. You can play with it. I personally am uh, uh, more functional. I like the list view. It allows me to do uh, everything that I want. Now, when you're, for example, on the leads module, you can have here a button to create a lead. So if you remember from here, we can create any record, but when you are on a leads view, for example, you can click on create lead and then it will create it. You can also click on the drop down and then you can import leads or import notes to the leads. Okay. Now, some companies will, let's say, buy leads or they will need to move from one system to another then they will click on import leads and then they will do the import in the following lessons i will show you how to import but right now just know that you can create leads manually one by one or you can import batch of leads on the right side you will have also the actions the actions will allow you to do to take actions on a mass scale i don't want to go too much into it but let's say that I want to convert lots of records. I can click on mass convert and then I need the criteria. So let's say everybody from Toronto. Okay, I would like to co convert them. Okay, but I don't want to dive into it. You will have uh, the interesting things here will be the mass email. So let's say that you are right now clicking here on all those records and you are sending them an email template. That will be considered as a mass email. Anything that you are sending 
more than one email will be considered mass email. If you will click on the mass email, you will be able to see all the ones that you sent in the past and it will also show you the deliverability for each one of them. So let's go to the leads one second. Let's select two of them. Uh, let's go to those two and also myself and let's send an email. I will select a template. Okay, and I will send it and now it was sent to three people. If I will go to the actions, I will go to mess email sent. You can see that that was sent and if I will click on it, so you see that three were sent, two delivered, one was opened, which I just opened it, one was not, not opened. And if there is a link inside the email, it will show you if it was clicked or not. Fantastic. I really like this, uh, this report. It's very clean and very easy to use. Uh, what else is interesting here? The deduplicate leads is very interesting. So let's say that you have here, you see you have those two leads and both of them have the same email. Those probably the same people. So this guy, Josh and Josh, Tom and L. John, probably both of them are the same person and something, you know, something happened with the data entry. So in this case, I want the system to identify that those are duplicates. So if I will go to deduplicate leads, I say, for example, that I want to know all the ones that the emails is identical. I will click on find and merge duplicates. The system now will run in the background and in a few seconds, you will see a message that the duplicate was done. It says that few duplicates were found. Shocking, okay, because we do see them. And when you click on resolve, it will show you that AEA, you have two duplicates and also Tesla Elon, you have also there. If I click on view, I can see those records. I can select from here who is the right person. Is it John or Tom? And then when I click on merge, both of them will become one record. Now, just so you know, once you do that, you cannot go back. So once you merged the information, you have only one record and you cannot revert back. So it's important just to know what you're doing. So some people will like to work like Excel and they don't want to have one record at a time being edited. So you will click on the Zosheet view. It will open an Excel like view and from here you can make some changes. Okay. And once you're happy with the changes, you will click on save. Okay. And now if I will go back to this list, you can see that the changes that I just took here, done. You see, I added one here and here I removed one of the fours. So this is the, those are the changes. It's very nice. Lots of people love this feature. Next, we are going to the list itself. You can see that you can select uh, different features from the list. You can also ascend, descend, or pin the column. So let's say that I want to have all the names starting with A. I will click on ascending, and now it starts with the numbers. Okay, so let's go to this list. Here, obviously, you can select multiple records and based on them you can take different actions. We'll talk about it in a second. You can also uh, ascend or descend the sorting so you can sort those records and you can do those obviously on all of them. Very common in the leads will be to descend based on the created time. So the new ones will be on the top and if I want to do that I can click here on the, this button. I can click on manage columns. And from here, I will add the created time. And that will be when the record was created. 
and here I will choose the descending. So the newest will be on the top and the oldest will be on the bottom. Okay, and that's a very common way to watch the leads. You can also change the size of those columns, which is very useful. You will have here also how many records you want to see in every page. Most people will choose 100, which is the most. And if you will have more than 100 in a page, with those small arrows, you can go right or left. If you're selecting records, you can run different macros. Those macros will be functionalities that are automated. For example, I will select those, I will run a macro, I will have a macro here, and then I can send them emails, tasks, and so on. Everything will be done automatically for me. I can send emails to multiple leads at the same time. I can create tasks to multiple leads at the same time. I can assign tags. I can send documents for signature. And here I will have a bunch of automations that I can run. I can send reminders, I can do mess update, change ownership, and so on. So there are lots of stuff that I can do with those. So that was the list view. I think we covered everything. As you can see, you have a bunch of options. Zoe is a beast. Lots and lots of features. In the next lesson, we are going to go into the record level. Basically, all the navigation that you will have on a single record and we'll have more cool stuff here. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching the lesson. If you'd like to know more about us, we are Amazing Business Results. We are a Zo Premium Partner and we offer a few services. One service will be Custom Zo Development. That means that you're coming with your own business problems and we'll find the right Zo solutions for your needs. We also develop extensions. Those extensions will be applications that we created that are plug and play to your Zo system and each one of, of those extensions will solve a specific business problems for your needs. We are also a Ring Central reseller, which means we can sell you the Ring Central system, which is a phone and text message system. And because you're buying it from us, we'll give you the license to use our extension for free for one year.